Hey, yeah. It's 903 Boston, I'm your host, Charles J. Yeah, we got that sauce in the pot. Yeah, we got that sauce in the pot. Hey, okay, I am a winner and I don't got shit to lose. Most of these fighters just pick and choose. We finna go by some different rules. Hot go pick a boo. Y'all animated like Pikachu. Feeling like Pac when I'm in the booth. Now I understand why the cage bird scenes. For five years felt like a dream. I would like smoking still singing in a pizza coupe. Boxing water down like chicken soup. I was in middle school when I first knocked out a bigger dude. I'm speaking on issues that's critical. Yet I get ridiculed. That shit is typical. Biblical words that I speak. God got a purpose for me. Just like that bird in the tree. Ain't nothing nervous in me. Just need some bourbon to be. Ain't no more courtesy. Must ain't United, this is an emergency. Homie got killed on a petty ass burglar. White boy got 20 for perfect. Standing on it, no converting me. You never heard of me? Damn. But you done heard the name, and you done heard me saying. Fuck it. I paint a picture that's very plain. I'm strategizing like Derek James. I feel like Prince out the purple ring. I am a legend, man. 84, let him swing. I swear my girl fight for editing. I speak aggressive, man, because I'm from Texas, man. There is no question, man. That's my profession, man. Once I stop dressing the blessing kind, now I'm like the sauce in the dressing, man. I am the past and the present, man. I am a winner, and I don't got shit to lose. Most of these fighters just pick and choose. We finna go by some different rules. How go up, pick a boo. Y'all animated like Pikachu. Feeling like Pac when I'm in the booth Now I understand why the cage bird sings Cause five years felt like a dream I would like smoking still singing in a pizza coop hey. What it do, what it do It's 903 Boxing I'm your host Charles J <sighs> Shout out to my audience man Shout out to those that's rocking with me, man. We in the kitchen. We stay cooking. We got to... I'm going to tell you something, man. It's a lot of goddamn sauce in this pot, man. Um, all the support is much appreciated. Uh, if I don't say it, I don't, if I never said it enough, uh, whatever the fuck I'm trying to say, uh, thanks for all the goddamn support. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, this shit is on my goddamn mind. I meant to talk about this shit earlier, but... Um, Actually, I'm behind on videos. I damn near dropped four of them today. But, yeah, uh, Ryan Garcia gives Javante Davis a deadline. <sighs> Got to talk about this shit. Um, well, basically, Oscar gives it. So, that's just like Ryan giving Javante Davis a deadline. And uh, a lot of motherfuckers quiet. Uh, birds are chirping and squirrels are fucking. Um uh, I don't hear a lot from you motherfuckers uh, waiting to hear from y'all. Uh, I don't know, man. I think it's uh, I think this shit is very interesting. Uh, I mean, because in my opinion, I think Ryan is talking like he's the A side. You would think he's the star in this shit, or he's the star of the goddamn show. You know, cause I, you know. <sighs> What's that? I just can't let go. Yeah, that's how I feel. Like, Sir Charles, I can't let go of this shit, man. I could make 15 million videos about <laughs> Like, I see some of you motherfuckers make videos about Spencer Crawford every day. I could make a video every fucking day about how fucking fake Ryan Garcia is and how I'm pissed off at Tank that you treat this motherfucker like you respect him. Yeah, you, you respect this motherfucker. And I I don't get it. This shit is like some... This shit is some, like some foreign... This shit is beyond me. This shit is beyond my goddamn thoughts and comprehension. Uh, you respect Tank as if he's the undisputed champion. You respect... Ta I, 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 mean, I mean, you respect Ryan as if he's the undisputed champion. You respect Ryan as if he's... Uh, Beat Loma, beat T.O., beat Cam, beat Dev, beat Shakur. That's that's how I feel like you you respect him as if he's beat everybody. Ryan ain't beat no fucking body. Ryan has never even headlined at Las Vegas. Uh, when they when they put Ryan in the fight, they got to put him in California or Texas. That's the only way the fight going to sell. Ryan ain't never even sold outside of Texas or California. So it's just a little, little brief little reminder to some of you motherfuckers. I just don't get it. Um, to to a lot of a lot of you motherfuckers that love Tank so much. Listen, I know you love Tank, but what pisses me off about a lot of you motherfuckers, Devin can't even say he beat him in spawn. Uh, Devin can't even call him out, and he's undisputed. Got all the belts. 
and y'all say he clout chasing. Uh, but y'all let y'all gave Ryan a pass. That's that's my biggest, my big that that's my biggest problem with this thing. Um, uh, my biggest problem with this whole scenario is that a Mexican didn't give Ryan Garcia his card. A Mexican didn't vouch for him. I know, I know, legendary Mexican vouch for Ryan. He signed to Oscar, Oscar, and Oscar never vouched for him. Oscar told him a year ago, you ain't ready for no Tank or Devin. Oscar told him to his face, you can't fuck with them. Um, Man Manuel Marquez, who was a Hall of Famer, legendary, a real Mexican fighter, he ain't never vouched for Ryan. Julio Cesar Chavez, ain't never vouched for Ryan. Or uh, even, uh, Ella Vista Cuenta. Bella Vista, the more. Viva Mexico. Yeah, Canelo. Even Canelo. Y'all most prized position. He never vouched for Ryan. He told you motherfuckers he ain't shit. He's not serious about boxing. He want to be a model. Uh, Ryan really want to be a model. That's what the fuck he want to be. No Mexican has vouched for him. Only black people. You know, um... When he did that hot boxing with Mike, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson chose to vouch for Ryan Garcia over Devin Haney, over Shakur, over all these great fighters. He picked Ryan. And when he did that hot boxing, and, and Javon, you, you entertained Ryan. You gave him the light of day. You gave this motherfucker light at the end of the tunnel. Because Ryan ain't shit without you. And everybody in boxing know. Who is Ryan without a tank fight? Tank, Tank, Tank a star whether he fight in it. It don't matter who Tank fight. Tank can fight whoever he want. He a star, bro. It's no deny. Tank can fight whoever he want. Ryan can't do that. Ryan done built his whole name and all this shit. He done got all these commercials off Tank name. And like I said, Tank publicly came out and told Devin, you will never get your name off me. But now Devin a star without you. Devin never get, and you didn't want Devin to get his name off, but you let Ryan get his name off you. You let Ryan get fame off your name, bro. And all these motherfuckers that saying Ryan versus Tank is a is a fight that boxing needs. You motherfuckers are full of shit. You motherfuckers are fake. It ain't a real motherfucking boxing. If you feel like Ryan versus Tank is a fight that boxing needs, you ain't a real boxing fan, in my opinion. No, nah, you ain't no real boxing fan. Because I ain't, ain't nothing Ryan has done to even let you motherfuckers think that he's on tank level. Let me tell some of you, uh, some of some of you motherfuckers just disgust me. Some of you motherfuckers pull more dick than your woman. Some of you motherfuckers pull more dick than your woman. Bro, I can name a thousand different fighters that got hand speed and power. That shit don't make you a special fighter. I can name a thousand different fighters that got hand speed like Ryan and can hit that bag real fast when he in the gym. He can always hit some shit real fast that ain't hitting his ass back. Yeah, he can hit the speed bag real fast and he got power. I can name five million other fighters that got the same kind of attributes, bro. That shit don't make you special. So like I said, um, in my opinion, no, Mexicans never vouch for Ryan. Latinos, none of them ever vouch. Black people vouch for Ryan. Um, yeah, y'all vouch for this Ryan versus Tank shit, and and Tank has uh, Ryan ran a, ran away from negotiations and shitted on Tank and told him, "I got to fight with Pacquiao. I ain't fucking with you." In the middle of negotiations, the last time nobody shitted on him. The way we've been shitting on Bud, the way we've been saying Bud ducking when Ryan backed out of negotiations with Tank. When they was on the fight before, and he said, I got a fight with Pacquiao, and we found out that shit was cap, nobody shitted on Ryan. So I don't know, maybe you motherfuckers, I don't know, my, a lot of you motherfuckers, I'm starting to question your manhood. Maybe you motherfuckers like this motherfucker. I know he say he a pretty boy. I don't know if you motherfuckers just admire his looks or some shit. Or, or I don't know what the fuck, what kind of weird shit you motherfuckers got going on. But if you motherfuckers really love boxing, we all know, bro, Tank gonna knock Ryan the fuck out. And anybody who think differently, you don't know boxing. This is 903 Boxing. I am your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.